Pull these packs. All right, back with another video for you guys. Got something from eBay. Um, this one was a different one than um, what I usually get. Uh, I got some 1995 Upper Deck. Uh, this is Series 2. Um, so not straight from, I don't know where it came from exactly, not straight from the box, but got about, oh, I think that was 12 packs here. Yep, six, oh, 14 packs. Um, so I know in this series, you got some pretty big rookies, uh, especially the Hideo Nomo rookie. And then, of course, they come with uh, these predictor um, subsets and, and, and everything else. And they have some other... Um, special edition i think uh insert cards here so let's see what we can find i, I think the the great find will be the adeo no more rookie card but you know also uh also open to finding i don't know i can't remember i'm trying to remember who else had that 95 uh rookie i mean in this this one too i don't know if series two we're going to be able to get any Derek jeter um stuff but and then of course you have like all the rockies and everything else coming out with their expansion uh for this one so uh one uh Acevedo. carlos Viagra, and i like the way these cards look too i mean these are uh, they, they they do a good job almost like stadium club where they they have like the, the nice picture there almost a Pol polaroid picture but here's a rare one uh not a rare one per se but you get your Wade Boggs in the in the Yankee uniform. Helped them win a World Series in, I think, 96 he did. Chuck Carr. All right, you got Edgar Martinez with another interesting one for... Whoops, I just crunched that card. Another one from uh, Edgar Martinez. You see him in the field, right? Obviously went to the Hall of Fame as a DH, but <laughs> sometimes he did actually play the, the field a little bit there. But... Not who sure that is, Kurt. Some of these are stuck together, though. Again, with this type of picture, you, you kind of get it. Um, the, you know the the type of picture it is. But here you got Ramon Martinez, who man, he started off hot, right? Twenty and six rookie year, and then he kind of fell off after that. Seventeen, thirteen, eight and eleven, ten and twelve, but did not have the staying power that his brother did. And you got Roberto Kelly, Brett Butler. All right, what we got here? I got some prospect cards here. Thomas Perez or Tomas Perez. I don't know who that is. And John Newland. Newland. I don't know. I don't know who that is. But Edgar Martinez and Wade Boggs, I'll take those guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't didn't mean to do it, but I guess we kind of let the, let the surprise out. But here you go. Here's the no Hodeo Nomo rookie. Nice. This is it. This is the one you want. Star rookie. This was a hot card back in the day. I mean, he did he did some crazy things for the Dodgers, right? He had some really good star power. And they got Jimmy Hurst. Fernando Valenzuela and Danny Jackson. I didn't even know Fernando Valenzuela pitched for the Padres, but I mean, looks like he bounced around here towards the end of his career. Angels, Orioles, Phillies. He was moving all over the place at the end there. All right. These are stuck together. Who's this one? Mike Bordick. Nope. Dave Fleming and John Burkett. John Burkett did all right as a yeah twenty two and seven and ninety three as a Giants. That's pretty good. Pretty good year for him. Jose Vizcaino, Wayne Kirby, Kirby Puckett. There we go. Nice car to his. I know his career got cut short with all the, with his eye problem and everything else, unfortunately.
can't believe we pulled that Hideo Nomo right in the uh, right in the beginning there, or the second one. So uh, one thing I failed to notice though, the electric diamonds, right? So you see a little bit different uh, from them as opposed to the upper deck, just regular. So this is the electric diamond, Tony Fernandez, electric diamond, Freddy Garcia. And I probably pulled one here and I didn't even realize it, I did. So the first one, Juan Acevedo. And I don't know if there are any other electric diamonds in here. I don't think so. Nope, no other electric diamonds. It would have been cool if the Hideo Nomo one was an electric diamond, but no such luck. All right, let's start breezing through some of these here. Now that we got the, the best card out of the way, let's see what else we're able to, to get. Ryan Klesko, I like his rookie, but... I think beyond that, put him aside. Benji Gill. Charlie Hayes. All right. Now we got Jim Edmonds. He had a good career there for a while with the, in his second year with them. So. Obviously, Jim Edmonds made that ridiculous catch out in center field, right? Everybody remembers that. That's usually one of the top 10 plays. And so you talk about them when you open the cards. Why not get another Jim Edmonds card? So we got two of those. Tony Phillips. So that was on the back side of that one. Yep, so two Tony Phillips. Looks like they go together. Arthur Rhodes. He did all right there at... For closing, uh, I believe he became a pretty good closer. And Chad Ojo, OJ, OJ, Ojo, I don't know. Steve Avery. Right. Mike Lansing. And all right, what is this? Trade this card for nine upper new upper deck cards of the hottest players on their teams. Oh, all right. Redeem for cards. <laughs> all right, so I don't know what that's all about. I'll put that aside. That's a fun little card. A little insert. Obviously well past the due date of 1996, so we cannot exchange those. And Tony Fernandez. Another electric diamond, Tony Fernandez. That's all I've been getting. Electric diamond, Tony Fernandez. Awesome. All right, let's go back to this one. All right, yeah, Chad Curtis, Electric Diamond. <coughs> hmm, excuse me, Lance Johnson. Start going through these a little faster and faster. Mark Langston. Ed Sprague, Luis Gonzalez, Derek Bell. Ha! If one is good, two is better. Deo Nomo, another one. Nice. And those two. And then who's he followed up by? Frank Rodriguez, I guess that's his name. Frank Rodriguez. But yeah, two of Deo Nomos. Nice. Can't beat that. Right, do I even, why should I even open any more? I don't know. Um, end the video right here, and that'll be that. I mean, I don't think I can get a third one at this rate, but yeah, that's pretty crazy. All right, now we got Pedro Martinez here. We got Electric Diamond Pedro Martinez. Nice. Oh, but there's like a little mark going across his face. That's too bad. But still, good card. Yeah, Walt Weiss. Pat Mahomes. So, not the Patrick Mahomes everybody's used to, but there's his father. Oh, little resemblance to Patrick, I guess, obviously. Ivan Rodriguez, nice. Hall of Fame catcher. 
I believe he's a Hall of Famer. Mike Flowers, Butler again, Royce Clayton, Ray Lankford. Some good players for for their day. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's why I was getting all. All right, so this one is Ozzy Simmons, I guess, or Timmons, sorry. Uh, Diamond Debuts. So, but it looks like a regular numbered card. So I don't think this is necessarily an insert. I mean, a, a sub-series in the set itself, but not necessarily a, an insert that I was looking for. All right, one of these predictors. I don't know if in the pack it tells you how often you can get what the odds are for getting certain things, but... Yeah, well. Pat Kelly, Electric Diamond, making the making the grab. And then why not just give me the regular Pat Kelly card right behind it? <laughs> and Danny Tartable. Randy Sanders. All right, trade this card. What's, who we got the other trade card for? Had Terry Pendleton last time. Who's this one for? Oral Hershiser. Ricky Sanders, Kevin Foster, Ron Darling. Glenn Allen Hill and Ken Hill, the Hill boys. All right, who we got here? We got Darren Bragg, who, yeah, he, he had uh, some good years in his own, own way. He wasn't a bad, a bad player. And then Jose... Malve. I don't know who that guy is. And it's, but he's a top prospect. But I am probably butchering a lot of names. But. All right, so. Got two of the Hodeo Nomo rookies. So that's pretty cool. And we got these electric diamonds. So you got Tim Davis here, electric diamond. Andres Galarraga, looks like he got traded over to the uh, in the expansion draft. All right, here we go, Frank Thomas. If I can unstick him successfully from his partner here. There we go. There you go, getting some congratulations after probably hitting another home run. All right, you got Juan Gonzalez on one side and Phil Plantier on the other side. Moving away from Boston and going to the Padres and the Astros. Juan Gonzalez. He had a pretty nasty year. 43 home runs, 100. Oh, wow. In uh, 93, 310, 46 home runs, 118, 118 RBIs, 105 runs scored. Not a bad year for him. And that's why in the early 90s, late and mid 90s, he was a hot card to have. He was He was doing some things. All right, you got Ruben Sierra looking very nice. Must be before he went to the Yankees and helped them out too. And John Burke it again. All right, we got another Diamond Debut. Same guy, Diamond Debut. So, and that. All right, so nothing too crazy with that pack. Jaha. No idea who you are, but Electric Diamond. Joe Girardi. Good job. Alex Fernandez. I'll keep the Joe Girardi rookie card, but beyond that. Oh man, these things are all stuck together. Ken Ryan and Chris Sabo. I didn't realize Chris Sabo got traded to. Yeah, so Chris Sable went to the Orioles and then over to the White Sox. Hmm. Wasn't aware of that. Always had those glasses, though. Todd Zeal. Again, a guy whose rookie card was pretty, pretty well sought after. But I don't think he ever materialized the way they thought he would. 
Andy Van Slyke. Towards the tail end of his career there. All right, who we got here? Uh, Carlos Perez for Diamond Debuts and Eduardo Perez for the White Sox. Oop. Let me guys go over there. I guess that's the one thing with these rookies, though. You kind of know <laughs> at this point whether or not they panned out. Except with some of the newer cards, you never know. All right, Dave Segui, Electric Diamond. Got Mike Stanley for the catcher for the Yankees. And another Mike Stanley. So nice, they gave me twice. All right, there we go. No errors either in this uh, set, or at least known. Um, I was trying to look that up, and there was a Barry Larkin card. I was trying to look up to see if there were any variations, errors, things like that, and I didn't find anything. Um, so if anybody happens to know of any, yeah, feel free to let me know. Leave some comments. Um, I know Upper Deck had some issues with the, there's Jeff Bagwell. Ooh, a JT Snow. Is this his rookie year? Nope, not his rookie year. He was a hot commodity for a while there too. But again, never panned out. But I know there was some with the hologram. Upper Deck always had issues with the hologram, putting the wrong holograms on the ba baseball or hockey cards and things like that. Um, but... I don't know who you are, and so we're putting you over there. But I doubt this. I assume they figure that out after the first year or two. All right, got three more packs left after this. All right, we got a Derek Bell electric diamond. Gary Gaetti. And Don Slaud, Gary Gaetti going over to, uh, after a long time with the Twins, looks like he went to the Angels and then the Royals. All right, we got a Barry Bonds card. All right, this is uh, his, when he's with the Giants now. <laughs> Still a little slender. Not looking, not looking too, too big there. Brent Gates, another Chris Sabo card, Mark Langston, we got Joe Vitello, a couple of diamond debuts here, and Joe Ronda, a couple of Kansas City Royal guys. Kevin Foster, Electric Diamond. Another Danny Tartable. Another Pat Kelly. All right, we got Jay Buner running the bases with a wad of gum or dip or something in his mouth. Cal Ripken Jr. All right. Nice sliding, sliding into home. 14 years deep into his career at that point. David Cohn. <laughs> Looking very pleased with himself. Um, there's Todd Stottlemyre. Here we got. Who is that? Oh, Jason Bates. All right, well, a couple more rookies. A lot of rookies in this set, obviously. The Series 2 looks like they've tried to put some prospects and things in these. But as you can see, a lot of these guys probably didn't pan out or play too long. Well, we definitely got all our Hideo Nomos nice and early. So that's pretty cool. But other than that. All right, Tony Clark. That's pretty cool. And it's an electric diamond. That was pretty sweet. He had a pretty good career, and I think he, well, I, I think he ended up going to the Yankees in the end, um, playing a couple seasons with them, if I'm not mistaken. But big guy, always a big guy. Always had the ability to hit for power. 
Tom Green, John Wetland. Man, what a crazy closer he was. He got the job done, but not without sweating it out first, that's for sure. All right, here we got a uh, Sammy Sosa. Looking like he's about to catch a pop fly there. So. Tim Pugh. Get these unstuck from each other. All right, who do we got here for Diamond Debuts? All right, nobody really know a Brad Klontz and Rudy Pemberton. Don't know either of those guys. And the predictor card. I'm not sure I came across a predictor card. If I did, I totally overlooked it, but I don't think we got one. Go again, Electric Diamond. Another Wade Boggs. So I think I caught a Hideo Nomo in the Wade Boggs one. I'm not sure. Got Carlos Baerga. So I'm a little hopeful that we're going to run into another one here. Jose Vizcaino. All right, so we're seeing some of the same guys again. John Smiley. Derek Bell, all right, we're getting to those guys. Joe Oliver, the catcher. Bobby Higginson, and I don't know who that Mark guy is. So, oh well, but hey, I mean, overall, not too shabby on the, on the two Hideo Nomo rookie cards, right? And they're looking pretty nice. And then some other good good players in there. Wade Boggs. I know we got Barry Bonds, Cal Ripken Jr., uh, Sammy Sosa. You know, some of the normal HOFs, if you will. And then some cool electric diamonds on top of it. I think my favorite one is the, the Tony Clark rookie electric diamond. Um, but some cool cards nonetheless. You know, in, this, in the trade form card. So... Hey, not bad. Overall, I think a uh, pretty good deal with uh, who we got and pretty cool to see the Hideo Nomo rookie cards. I know that was um, uh, I'm almost 30 years too late for it, but hey, it was. Uh, I know it was a hot card back then, back in 95. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.